Good morning, everybody. Uh, I don't like him, Sam. I am. This whole uh, Dr. Seuss thing that's going on right now is just a distraction from the really, really bad stuff going on right now in this country. Uh, we just, you know, we had four years a president who didn't get us into any wars. And I remember my father saying, you know, Democrats like to get us into wars because that's how they make their money. And But unfortunately, we had some Repu uh, Republicans who really acted like Democrats, namely the Bushes, uh, who also like to get us into wars because that's where they make their money. Um, and, well, wouldn't you know it, look what's going on here. Mr. Biden making wars. Uh, it's, it's, but that's not the least of it. The worst thing here is this new, uh, what do they call it, the House Resolution 1, which has been going on for a while, basically all the, whatever claims, again, we're not saying that any cheating happened or that it was enough to change the election, blah, 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 or maybe we are, but we're not saying it, you know. But whatever we, whatever the claims were about cheating in the election, the Democrats now just want to make it the law that, you know, to legislate this cheating, that you can have uh, same-day voter registration, that you you have, uh, uh, you can't purge the voter rolls of dead people. Uh, you can have, uh, you know, all of this mail-in voting, um, for no reason, for no excuse needed, and that you can still have the votes come in 10 days after the election, uh, early voting, all these things, uh, no IDs needed. This is not about, and then the Democrats are like, oh, you know, the Republicans just want to stop black people from voting. No, we want everyone who's eligible to vote, but we want our vote to count. We don't want people to be voting three or four times. We don't want dead people voting. Obviously, it's not the dead people voting. It's the other people voting three or four times. We don't want our vote to be silenced in unfair ways. This is just ridiculous. And they have no shame. They have no shame. And this is going on, and we're being distracted because of Dr. Seuss, which... I'll admit that this is that's an important thing to talk about, but it's nowhere near as important as the end of our election system. You know, basically our our country is done if our election system is destroyed. Uh, so you know, we got to call our Congress people and our senators and tell them to vote against this. I mean, it's ridiculous what we have in, in my uh, Cong Congress district, New York 19. And I'm still thinking I got to run for Congress. This is absolutely ridiculous because we had the past two congressmen in our district were moderate Republicans. And here we have an extremist, extreme left-wing Democrat. And he just got reelected again. And part of the problem is we ran against him, a moderate Republican. This guy, Kyle, he seemed like a nice guy. I voted for him, but we knew he wasn't going to win. That lady, Ola, she would have been a firebrand in the Congress. And, and she won on the on election day. But again, those, those absentee ballots came in. And oh look what we got here, look what happened here, because they didn't want to let Ola win, they didn't want someone who actually had a chance to win the seat to be there, this happened already, and they managed to play their games with the absentee ballots, uh, and, and we had a preview of, of, uh, of November back in the, with the primaries, 
and here we are. I mean, at, at least, you know, Mr. Delgado, respect your constituents. You know, both of the Republicans, you know, recognize that New York 19 is a diverse district, and they governed that way with that respect, but you're not governing that way. You're not, you're disrespecting the vast majority of the people in New York 19, and it's ridiculous. You're just working for Kingston and ignoring all the rest of the, the district, and it's not fair and it's not right. Thank you for watching. God bless. Please like, share, and subscribe, comment. We'll see you all later.